What was the most destructive cyber attacks in history? It's a tale that begins on a seemingly ordinary day. June 2017 started like any other day in Ukraine. Businesses opened, people went to work, and life carried on as usual. Unbeknownst to many, this day would mark the beginning of a new era in cyber warfare. The day started with a few peculiar computer glitches in some Ukrainian organizations. Then the glitches turned into system freezes, and soon enough, entire networks were held hostage by an invisible enemy. This was the moment when NotPetya was unleashed upon the world. The malware behind this chaos was not unknown. It was a revamped version of Petya, a relatively harmless piece of ransomware that had been around for a while. But this was not Petya. This was something far more sinister. This was not Petya. The creators of NotPetya had taken Petya and transformed it into a cyber weapon of mass destruction. Unlike its predecessor, NotPetya wasn't just after money. It was designed to destroy and cause havoc. As NotPetya infiltrated computers, it encrypted their files and demanded a ransom. But even if the ransom was paid, the files remained inaccessible. The goal was not to earn, but to burn, to cause as much damage as possible. And the most terrifying part, the speed at which it spread. It was like a wildfire, jumping from system to system, organization to organization, not just in Ukraine, but across the globe. In just a matter of hours, NotPetya had crossed borders and oceans, infecting thousands of computers worldwide. It didn't discriminate. Businesses, governments, hospitals, no one was safe. This was not just a cyber attack, this was a declaration of war. A war not fought with guns and bombs, but with code and malware. And so the world was introduced to NotPetya, a cyber weapon of mass destruction. Just as a physical virus spreads, so did NotPetya reaching far beyond Ukraine's borders. It was like a wild, insatiable beast hunting for its prey without rest, without mercy. It made no distinction between small businesses and multinational corporations, between a local library and a global shipping conglomerate. The world was its playground, and it was playing a dangerous game. In the blink of an eye, the beast found its way into the systems of some of the world's largest corporations. Myersk, the global shipping behemoth, was brought to its knees. Its IT systems fell like dominoes, causing chaos in ports from Los Angeles to Mumbai. Then there was Merck, the pharmaceutical giant. It was left scrambling as NotPetya disrupted its ability to manufacture and distribute drugs. The beast did not stop there. It continued its rampage, crippling infrastructure and causing unprecedented disruption. Airports, banks, government institutions, none were spared. Its appetite for destruction seemed insatiable. Around the world, systems crashed, operations halted and panic ensued. This was not just a cyber attack, it was a global crisis. The financial cost of this cyber onslaught was staggering. It's estimated that NotPetya caused a whopping $10 billion in damages. That's billion with a B. To put that into perspective, that's more than the GDP of many small countries. This wasn't just a hit to the wallet. It was a punch to the gut of the global economy. Just as the world was coming to terms with the scale of this catastrophe, it was hit with another realization. This was not a random attack. It was calculated. It was deliberate. The beast was not just wreaking havoc, it was sending a message, a chilling reminder of the vulnerability of our interconnected world. NotPetya had no boundaries, no limits, it was a global menace. It came, it saw, it conquered. And in its wake it left a world grappling with the reality of our digital age, that in the blink of an eye a cyber beast can bring the world to its knees. Uh, but what exactly was NotPetya? A mere virus or something more sinister? You see, NotPetya was not your average run-of-the-mill ransomware. It was a destructive force, a wiper disguised as ransomware, which made it far more devastating than its counterparts. To understand why, let's look at the difference between ransomware and a wiper. Ransomware, as the name suggests, holds your data hostage. It encrypts your files and demands a ransom, usually in the form of untraceable cryptocurrency, to decrypt them. It's like a burglar breaking into your house and locking all your belongings in a safe, then demanding a hefty sum for the key. Annoying? Absolutely. Damaging, potentially. But there's always a chance to recover what's lost. A wiper, on the other hand, is a different beast entirely. It doesn't just lock away your files, it destroys them entirely. 
Think of a wiper as an arsonist, setting fire to your house and watching it burn to the ground. There's no negotiation, no chance for recovery. Your data is gone and it's not coming back. Now, imagine a scenario where an arsonist pretends to be a burglar. They break into your house, lock up your belongings and demand a ransom. You pay, expecting to get your stuff back, but the arsonist just laughs and sets everything ablaze. That's the horror of NotPetya. It posed as ransomware, tricking victims into thinking they could retrieve their data if they paid the ransom, but in reality, NotPetya was a wiper. It had no intention of returning anything. It just wanted to cause as much destruction as possible. And it succeeded. This deceitful nature of NotPetya made it far more dangerous and destructive than any other cyber threat at the time. It wasn't just about money. It was about causing chaos, disrupting systems, and wreaking havoc on a global scale. NotPetya was a wolf in sheep's clothing, a cyber destroyer masked as a simple ransomware. Who was behind this devastating attack and who were the victims? This question echoes in the minds of many who have been following the story of NotPetya. The answer, as it turns out, is as complex and unnerving as the attack itself. The NotPetya attack was initially blamed on a group of cyber criminals seeking to extort money from their victims. However, as investigators dug deeper, they discovered a more sinister plot. The finger of suspicion pointed towards Russia. But why Russia, you may ask? The answer lies in the geopolitical tensions that have been brewing for years between Russia and Ukraine. The majority of the initial victims were Ukrainian firms, suggesting a targeted attack against the nation. Furthermore, the sophistication of the attack pointed to a state-sponsored entity, and Russia seemed to fit the bill. Now let's turn our attention to the victims of this catastrophic cyber onslaught. The attack was indiscriminate, affecting organizations across the globe. However, two major corporations bore the brunt of the devastation, Maersk and Merck. Maersk, the world's largest shipping conglomerate, was brought to its knees as NotPetya crippled its IT systems. The company reported losses of around $300 million an astronomical figure that speaks volumes about the destructive power of this cyber weapon. Meanwhile, pharmaceutical giant Merck was also left reeling from the attack. The company's operations were severely disrupted, resulting in a loss of approximately $875 million. The attack also led to a shortage of key vaccines, illustrating how a cyber attack can have real-world health implications. The NotPetya attack was a stark reminder of our digital vulnerabilities. It underscored the fact that in this digital age, no one is immune to the threat of cyber warfare. From multinational corporations to individual users, we are all potential targets. And while the culprits may remain faceless, the victims are all too real. The dust has settled, but the echoes of NotPetya still resonate. In the aftermath of the NotPetya attack, the world was left to grapple with a new reality. The global digital landscape had been irrevocably altered. This was not just a wake-up call, it was a blaring alarm, signifying an urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures. The wreckage left by NotPetya was not confined to the systems it infected. It sent tremors through the very foundation of our digital society. It was a stark reminder of the fragility of our interconnected world and the immense power wielded by those who seek to exploit its vulnerabilities. In the wake of NotPetya, organizations worldwide took a hard look at their cybersecurity protocols. The attack spurred an industry-wide push for enhanced security measures. It led to the acceleration of investments in cyber defense technologies and a renewed focus on training and awareness. The digital world had been shaken but it was not defeated. It rose stronger and more resilient, ready to face the challenges of the new era. The implications of NotPetya extend beyond enhanced security measures. The attack served as a catalyst for a global dialogue on the role of state-sponsored cyber warfare. It drove home the point that cyber threats were not just a concern for the tech industry, but a matter of global security. The need for international cooperation in combating cyber threats was brought into sharp focus. The long-term effects of the NotPetya attack are still unfolding. But one thing is clear, it has forever changed the way we view cyber threats. 
It has ushered in a new era of cybersecurity, one that recognizes the immense potential for destruction that lies within the digital realm. We are no longer just defending against cyber threats, we are actively preparing for them. We are acknowledging that the next battlefield may not be a physical one, but a digital one. And we are ready. Not Petya, a name etched in the annals of cyber warfare, a chilling reminder of the destructive power that lies at the fingertips of those in the shadowy corners of the digital world. For more cyber stories, subscribe, like and share.